Good morning. Let's all join together in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're all enjoying a great week. I'd like to start things off this morning by wishing Layla Janender a happy birthday. And Layla, of course, shares her birthday with her brother, Kai Janender. We hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget that our PTA is sponsoring the contest, looking for 3D examples of why you love Santa Carver and why your hometown means so much to you. Please get those in by tomorrow and we will look forward to sharing our winners next week. We've been so fortunate to be learning more about the history of our fabulous hometown with our visits from friends from the Santa Carver Historical Society. And this morning we're going to be guided on another trip through our hometown by Ms. Nancy Remkes. I hope you all enjoy. Good morning, Sag Harbor Elementary. I'm Nancy Remkes. I'm a trustee of the Sag Harbor Historical Society, and I'm here in the Long Pond Greenbelt to tell you a little bit about its history. The Long Pond Greenbelt is 1,100 acre preserve. Freshwater ponds, wetlands, lots of different wildlife for you to explore. It's right here next to the Mashashamuit Park and it would be a great place for your family to come and take a hike. The Long Pond Greenbelt was once inhabited by Native Americans about 6,000 years ago. They used to live here near the freshwater ponds and make their homes right in this area. Let's take a walk down the Long Pond Greenbelt together. And I wanna tell you about how the railroad used to come right down this path and go into Sag Harbor. Well, the Long Island Railroad made a route to Sag Harbor for four miles from Bridgehampton and it came down the Long Pond Green Belt and went into Sag Harbor and the railroad station was where the post office is today. People would come all the way from New York City and go right to Sag Harbor by train. And the railroad was from 1870 all the way till 1939. 
And although they had the four mile spur that went from Bridgehampton to Sag Harbor, they also had a spur that came here to Round Pond. And what they did is they had ice harvesting here on Round Pond. They had so much ice that they had companies that would cut the ice and put the ice on the train and the train would bring the ice into New York City. Now they didn't have refrigerators like we had. So all their food was kept cold using the ice that was harvested here on Round Pond. So let's keep walking down the Greenbelt and we'll talk some more about the railroad that came all the way into Sag Harbor. Up to the year 1844, it took three days to get from Brooklyn to Sag Harbor by stagecoach or ship. The trip was very challenging. The woods were deep and thick. When the Long Island Railroad was chartered in 1834, it was intended to be a link in the rail-boat-rail rail connection between New York City and Boston. The engineers of the mid-1800s thought that the hills and rivers of Connecticut and Rhode Island were almost impassable for a railroad line to be built on the mainland. So their thoughts turned to Long Island with its flat terrain. A railroad was to be built from Brooklyn in the west to Greenport in the east with a steamboat ferry to Stonington to Connecticut and a connecting train to Boston. Sadly, the much hoped for rail, boat, rail link never happened, but this proved to be a blessing in disguise because the railroad caused something else to happen, the rapid development of commerce, farming, and industry on Long Island. It seemed that almost overnight, small towns began to develop along the railroad's right of way. People fell in love with the island and quickly settled there. Farmers now had a means to transport their produce to market. Businesses thrived, and due to the railroad, Long Island was on the way to becoming a major center of commerce and tourism. In 1870, the Long Island Railroad was extended to Sag Harbor. The tracks ran through the woods from Bridgehampton, crossing Main Street at the west side of the park. From there it ran along the cove to the foot of the village and stopped in the area where the present post office is. The last whaling ship departed Sag Harbor one year after the arrival of the Long Island Railroad in 1870. At that time, the cotton mill was the major industry and employer in Sag Harbor. When in 1879 it burnt, Faze, a partner in the mill business, decided to move his watch case factory from New Jersey to Sag Harbor. The former mill property was empty and the Long Island Railroad could safely transport gold, silver, equipment, and coal, which were deciding factors. In 1879, Captain George Gibbs built the best trotting course on this end of Long Island. Excursion trains and steamboats brought thousands to the festivities and fairs. Horsemen arrived to try their luck and skill at carriage team races, trotting races, walking races, and other events. Eventually, the grounds fell into disrepair, and in 1908, Mrs. Russell Sage bought the land and transformed it into the Children's Park, which we now know as Mash Hashemuet Park. In 1908, Mrs. Russell Sage also helped to pay for the brand new railroad depot in Sag Harbor, which was thought to be one of the finest on all of Long Island. In 1927, Due to low ridership, a gasoline-powered trolley replaced the train that ran between Sag Harbor and Bridgehampton. It was called the Toonerville Trolley. By the spring of 1939, the spur of the Sag Harbor Railroad was abandoned and the tracks torn up during World War II. If you visit the Long Pond Greenbelt, you might still see the concrete posts that were part of the railroad system. 
and once in a while, some people can even find an old spike from the railroad. So maybe one day you'll take a hike in the Long Pond Greenbelt and think about and remember all of the people that used to come to Sag Harbor by train. Okay, as we head out today, I'd like to thank Ms. Cafiso for starting the Ishii project. And boys and girls, we appreciate all of your pictures that you sent in, and I know everyone's going to enjoy as we share those now. La 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 